Okay, today I'm going to show you how to install a tool holder on this HSD, HSK style tool holder. So, let's start off by having the tool already off. Now, sometimes when you get the uh, spindle from the factory or now the set screw in there might already be in the lock position so what you want to do is you want to make sure that it's in the open right, position now there's two sides there's one side that only has one hole through or one through hole and then the other side has one through hole and a, a divot or dimple. Okay, so one side has a through hole, one side has a through hole and a dimple. Now what you want to do is you want to take that dimple and match it up with the side that has the flat head. Okay, now if you don't do it right, it'll just have a bigger gap. Okay, so see that gap? It's like sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch. Feels like it's going in, but there's a bigger gap. So what you want to do, and it won't lock. If you have it wrong, it won't lock. So you got to put it in, in that manner. Now, if you can't access that hole, just put this tool inside, and then you can rotate this ring, this brass ring. You want to be able to see that hole to where the set screw is exposed and then put the tool in, rotate it, and tighten it up, and it's ready to go. Now when you take it off, you might feel it bottom out, and you actually have to give it some more of a rotation, about another half rotation, and then it'll come out. Okay? Now this is an ER stall it E, this is an ER style collet and the proper way of installing this collet is to snap it in at an angle and then it should sit flush. If it's not sitting flush then it's probably because you just threw it in straight like this. You have to come in at an angle. Now if there's a gap then that means that it wasn't properly installed. Okay, so right now there's like a uh, eighth of an inch gap or one sixteenth inch gap. So there's a ring in there. You want to take this groove and put it in between that ring. And the reason for that ring is so then in the event that this collet is stuck into the taper, that ring basically pulls out the collet. It's going to take two. tries generally. Now once it's on there for a day, a week, when you rotate this off, it's going to bottom out and uh, you're going to have to rotate it again and it's actually going to yank that collet out of that taper. Okay. So it has to sit flush. and. Uh, Match the dimple to the flat head. And there it is. 